and I see opportunity. I see a city that has close proximity to two of the nation's largest interstate systems, Interstate 75 and I-10, just south of us. I see a city that has two major railroads, bisecting our city, CSX and Norfolk Southern. I see a city that has the third longest runway of any city in Georgia outside of Atlanta and Savannah. I see a city with a major um, medical facility, South Georgia Medical Center, military base, only Air Force base, one of Georgia's leading universities, South State University. I see potential. I see opportunity. So what's holding us back? I think vision. The vision that Jimmy Rainwater had back in the 90s when he said we're going to start a street state and we're going to revitalize downtown. And he put together a committee, and I was blessed to be serving on that committee. He sent me and some other people to Augusta, I mean to Athens, and to Dalton, and to Gainesville. And he said, what are they doing there to revitalize their downtown? We came back and gave the mayor a report and said, Mr. Mayor, they're using downtown for restaurants, for living spaces. And Emily and Van Gerard were the first two to convert the old McCorris building into a park that's downtown. And so downtown was, was being renovated. It was being re revitalized. At one point, it was very close to getting a gap downtown. All that changed. But we can, we can bring that back. I remember talking to, to Mayor Rainwater on Norman Drive. It was two-lane road. <coughs> And they had the fire hydrants 60 feet away from the road. And I said, Mr. Mayor, those fire hydrants are uh, inaccessible to the fire department. I said, Chief, we're going to go out this road. You're going to see hotels and shops on, on, on Norman Drive. That's vision. That's the kind of vision I have to bring to the city of Valdosta. To give you an example, when I took over as fire chief in 1995, we was rated an ISO class three. But those of you who are not familiar with that process, that's a group that comes in and looks at your fire department to determine how proficient they are. And they give the insurance companies, they tell insurance companies how good your fire department is, and the insurance companies base your homeowner's insurance based on that rating. I was the first chief in the history of Brown Austin to lower the insurance rating to a class two. It wasn't easy, but it was needed. We had to do some things, some changes. We made those changes. I see a, a city that competes with Augusta, Athens, Columbus, Macon, Albany. We'll never be Atlanta. Don't want to be Atlanta. Don't even like going to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no reason we can't compete with Athens economically, Albany economically, Savannah economically on certain things, especially uplifting our standard of living in Mount Austin. We're the poorest. Metropolitan City in Georgia. We can do better than that. There's an article in the paper just the other day. See, it's outside. We rank 14. At the bottom, we can do better than that. We have the opportunity. We have the potential. Let's put it to work. Let's roll our sleeves up. Let's get the job done. I'm J.D. Rice. I want to be your mayor. I'm asking for your vote. I'm the only candidate who's pushing public transportation. I got to get that out there. And I'm going to pay for it without one dime of property tax. It's going to come off I 75. It's a proposed House Bill, House Bill 448. Now, our local legislators need to get behind and push it. It will allow us to raise the hotel motel tax to help pay for public transportation. I need your prayers. I need your support. And I want your vote. Thank you.